friends, I have a team Hall. A lot of the um, things here are doll related. Um, most of the stuff is um, things I want to give to my friends that I'm going to meet for BlytheCon, which is going to be in New Jersey and New York in November. So um, some of these gifts are especially for um, Lissa and Jamie. Don't watch if you don't want any spoilers. So I just have my Blythe um, pumpkin here just to see um, for scale to see how it is. Like I said, it's a Timo haul. Now the Timo haul is Timo bags are coming white. It makes some people unhappy. It doesn't matter to me. So let's see what the first thing. There's two orders in here, I think. Two, they said two orders were delivered. So I'm assuming there's two orders here. Okay, first item here is, oh, cute, is a traveler's notebook I got. Um, we're going to exchange gifts. We're going to do like a Christmas or I'm going to do like a little advent calendar with my friends. And I'll put some of these little gifts, wrap them up and cute. Oh, look how cute this little traveler's notebook, guys. Oh, my goodness. And it smells like real leather. It might be real leather or it could be pleather. I'm not sure, but look how cute. And it has a little elastic you could put it on. A little thing right there. And then it has a little charm. Right here is the charm. Let me show you. How cute. I'm assuming you could put the charm right in the center. Really cute. And let's see for scale. It's pretty cute. This is pumpkin, because she likes to wear this pumpkin hat beanie at all times. So I call her pumpkin. She likes everything pumpkin. And this hat was my son's hat when he was a baby. So it's nice for her to have to, to wear. But that Travis notebook seems good scale for the Blythe. We might have to put something so she doesn't fall. Here we go. This is pug pillow. There you go. Does have this neck articulation. There we go. Cute. Cute to scale. And this is a little kitty I made for pumpkin. <laughs> Actually, I made this for um a coloring retreat that I'm going to. We're supposed to do a Harry Potter pet, but I think I might have to redo. I don't know. I did her following a pattern, but I think Pumpkin likes her. I'm not sure if I'm going to take her on my retreat. Well, that's cute. The little traveler's notebook. I, I, was, I already scuffed it. Scuffed it. Oh, it's okay. Then it looks aged. Let's see what's next. Let's see this package. Let's open this up. And what is in here? Oh, good. For making um some doll clothes i got some metal buttons let's see i do have the little tool that oh this came from the traveler's book book this little charm holder there put that there and i could use these yep these are metal buttons all the different colors and I do have this um tool this would be cute for doing snaps for dolls clothes or mini wallets or things like that but I do have that tool so I'll be able to do that some for me to play with I've been into doing um cloth traveler's notebooks and that might work for um making a little wallet for inside of it so that's fun Sorry, I don't have the prices, guys, and I don't know how to link. Sorry about that. If you really like something, let me know in the comments, and then um, I will see if I can find it, if they still have it. Okay, this, oh my goodness, this is way smaller than I thought, but I'll leave this for a little bit. Okay, I got this shirt. I grew up with strawberry shortcake. And I got, this is an, oh, thank goodness. This is an extra, extra large. And this is old school strawberry shortcake. And is, is that material is a little soft? It's soft, but it's definitely rayon. It's not. But 
I'm glad I got. This is the extra, extra large. I'm glad I got the extra, extra large. I don't like my things too tight, but it's the old school strawberry shortcake. Adorable. But I think that size should be good. Okay. Um, I got some dime, loose diamond painting. Crystals or um, I forgot what the diamond painters call it. Sorry. Don't shoot me. But um, I did buy a diamond painting um, craft for me and my friends. Um, but uh, the craft has blonde hair and we all share a blythe that has blue hair. So I'm thinking if we do the blue, we could put in, in exchange the blonde hair for the blue hair. I'll show you later. Let's save that there. What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got mini little cards for the blythe, but I didn't realize we're gonna have to cut those out and put them inside these little boxes. A little craft to do. Well, I have it done, but that'll be cute to put in the Christmas advent calendar. It's a good size for Blythe, but yep, I'm gonna have to cut that out, cut those out and make, I think I got two sets, one for each of them. That's good. Okay, here I got some vintage little stickers, adorable. I love these. What I might do with these vintage stickers, guys, is um, I do have printable fabric, and I might photocopy these. I don't know if it's copying about the stickers. Um, copy these into the printable fabric and then put that on, like, overalls. Oh, how cute. On little overalls or any little thing I make. For Blythe. These would be really cute on a t-shirt for Blythe. Oh, these stickers are so cute. I'll be quick. Quick. Very vintage looking. These stickers on a little, making a little patch of this and putting this on some overalls for Blythe would look adorable. Yeah, on the chest. Yep. And I think these would transfer well to, um, yeah, definitely, that printable fabric that I have. And then, like I said, I can make a little patch and attach the patch to some overalls that I make. These are so adorable. Very vintagey, very cute. I think they're all puppies. No, I see some. There was some little girls in there. Most of them are puppies, but this is what the package looks like. And they're just vintage, clear little stickers. They're really cute. I know Dolls Attic was looking for little stickers. If you were watching this, um, if you, she was looking for little stickers to put on her crib for her OB11 dolls on the tiny little doll crib. These would be really cute to put on a crib and make it look vintage. Really cute. Okay, um, these are some plain Ziploc bags. Well, they're not plain, they're cutesy little Ziploc bags. I figured I could put a little present for um, my friends attending BlytheCon. Oh, these are cute. Definitely sturdier than a Ziploc, but I wouldn't store too much on it, too much in there. I wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to handle those too much. I think these were four of them. There we go. Those are cute. And here we go. I bought some more of those blue diamonds, but now that I see the project is so tiny, I don't think I'm going to need these much, um, little diamonds oh my goodness here's another thing that i thought was way bigger this is adorable actually it was for me but i thought see read your sizes you can't blame anybody but yourself if you don't read the sizes let's see where this opens but this is so cute this is like a watercolor notebook 
but look how tiny this is. This is so cute. Definitely thick, thick, thick. Good for water paper, but this is good. To fill this up wouldn't be that bad. And if you challenge yourself just to put one little drawing a day of watercolor, by the time you finish, this is so cute. I mean, it's too big for Blythe. I didn't get it for Blythe, but I got it for me. But like I said, it's a good challenge if you want to challenge yourself just to watercolor one small, tiny image a day. It's a pretty good challenge. Okay, oh, here we go. I got this tiny little sign, which is so cute. Also for Blythe Con. Blythe Con, sorry. We could use those. And we could use them as props. Oh, it's a clothes hanger. You see, guys? That's cute. But it stands with no, no problem. It'll be cute as a prop for some good Blythe pictures. That's cute. That's a coffee one I got. I got one that's for Christmas. Let's see, sorry, this is so long. Let's see. Yep, Christmas, little gingerbread. Like I said, it's a little, it's cute, but hey, smart. Holds it in. Okay, guys, more dime. <laughs> more diamond. I got for the art craft. But like I said, now that I see the project is so tiny, I do not think I'm going to need these. Another blue, I think I'm going to have more than enough. And I didn't think I was going to have enough. Okay, and then I got this. This is something else. This is a camera we're going to put. I'll put in the um, advent calendar. It does have a little... Oh. That is adorable. We can put this right here. And let's see. Sorry, kitty. I mean, we could put it over her head. It's a little big, but it could be a big camera <laughs> for Blythe. The scale's not too terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. That's cute. We'll put that in the advent calendar. Okay. Oh, this is a refill for one of my alcohol ma markers, because I like to color. You guys know that. That was very reasonable. We'll see how that is. Oh, here's another camera that I got. This one is a little different. This one might be a little more to scale. That's cute. Also has a battery. That is too cute. Let's put that here. Okay. Yeah, that's a better scale for the Blythe. This one is a better scale, but it's cute. Hopefully I got more of those. This one's cute too. It's just a little too big. Okay, an empty bag. That's not good. Okay, then I got, this must go with a project that I got. The diamond painting project I got for us to do. These are more stickers. These are more Halloween theme. I'll go over these. Quick. And like I said, if they're really cute, I might just photo. They're very vintagey looking. Might just photocopy one of them into printable fabric. Oh, look how cute! And maybe shrink of them. Shrink of them. They would look really cute in a T-shirt for Blythe. Really cute. It's one of the Campbell kids, I think. So cute. So cute. Really cute. You guys have probably seen it. Just a bunch of vintage images. Really, really cute. Put those away. Really cute. And here we go. Here's another one of those traveler's notebooks. Put it right there. Another one of those. 
I bought three of those, one for me and one for my two friends that we're gonna stay at the B&B with. And here's another one of those signs. This one says, oh, this one's Halloween, a Halloween one. This is cute. Like I said, this stands very well, and it's a clothespin. Adorable. These are cute. This will look really cute on any of the tables or anything like that. Cute prop for Blythe. Okay, I got this, which is a pencil case. There's a little plastic in there. Okay. Maybe we'll put the diamonds in there. It's cute. Cute, very cute. Here comes my pug. If you see him on the scene, Mary, careful, no eating pumpkin. That's a cute little case once it's full. That's cute. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, here's another one of those projects. I'll show you. Okay, that boy, that is way smaller than I thought. Mary. Stop trying to burrow into the tank. I needed some um, alphabet dyes. This is nice. Kind of like a Ray Dunn inspired. These are cute. I have something like that, but I think it's a little bit skinnier. I'll have to see, but that's a cute dye. And that's Murray trying to burrow into things. Let's see what this is. Murray, stop trying to burrow into the bag. Oh, this is cute. This is little money. Oh, excuse me. Money is a stack of money. And I figured I'll make tiny little cards and I'll put some money on the advent calendar for my friends. That's cute. And it's a pretty big stack. That is adorable. And here's the back. And here it is. Yes. Mary, stop trying to... Let's put this in the pencil case so it doesn't get slobbered by Mary. That's cute. Okay. What is this? 3D dim dimming light. I don't remember getting a dimming light. Did I get a dimming light? I don't remember getting a dimming light. What did I get? Okay, yes, yes. My husband collects guitars. I was figured I was going to give him this for um, Christmas. It lights up. He'll like that. That's it's perfect. And it came all wrapped up. I'll give him that as a little stocking stuffer. It's a little guitar. He'll like that. Yes, I did order that. Put that in here. Put it in nice. I'll put it away in it nicely. Okay. Oh my goodness, more diamond, more blue diamond painting. Boy, did I not need that much blue. Okay, and here is another one of those cameras, goodie. It was one of those little ones where that would better scale for Blythe. That's really cute and it has the function. These are absolutely adorable. A lot of details. These are going to look really nice in pictures. And like I said, I'll put that in the advent calendar. Oh, and some more stickers, some axolotl stickers. Those are for my niece that collects axolotls and loves axolotls. A whole bunch of those. If you do want to see the stickers one by one, leave a comment and I will go one by one. But it gets a little boring. Okay, here we go. Here's another. This was a nightgown that I ordered. But I thought it was back ordered, pre order. Yeah, I thought this said pre order. This is another strawberry shortcake. How cute. And I think I got an extra large, 1XL. And this is still. And I got this to sleep in because, ooh, do I get hot? I get hot in the night, strawberry shortcake. Paste it on. This feels more like a cotton than the other one. Let's see how this survives a good washing. But this is good for the middle of the night for the night sweats. Because, yep, I'm going through my changes. I'm getting all sucks. That's cute. 
I might have to wash them before I use them. Here's the other one project. I got three of those. Okay. And I got this little notebook. This looks really cute. Oh, it came with paper. Throw that out. This is so cute. This is little cats. And this is a ring notebook. Travelers notebook. I love fabric travels notebooks. This is cute. Hmm. It's a good idea to close it like that. And then you could put the calendar like that. Then you could put your little sheets that come. Wrap it in there. I think this was about six dollars, I think it was. It's really cute. That's cute. I'll find something to do. I was thinking of maybe putting I have a lot of those um zip up pockets zip up um pockets that go into the ring binders i might put it into that and then i could put doll clothes in there it's cute to travel with okay. and here we go good i got another one of those little cameras like i said the one that's better i just got one of the big ones good uh-oh did it break? It sounds like it's... No. Okay. Okay. And then the rest, goodness, is... Oh, this. I got this. This is smaller than I thought. Murray, careful. Don't move the camera. This is smaller than I thought, but this is cute. This might go well if you... I mean, like I said, I was into doing those... Um, Um, I'm into doing the fabric TNs. This would be a good way to close um, the traveler's notebook. Hold on, guys, because Murray's toy is stuck underneath. Take it, take it, Murray. There we go. So you could put this and use it as a closure for the TN, but this should, yeah, it separates from this and it makes a button. This would be cute. You sew this on, and it'll make a really cute closure to something. That's cute. Put that in there. Okay. Here we go. And I also got some cute ephemera, vintage-inspired ephemera. This is really cute, too. I said I won't go. Oh, these are papers. These are these no, they're stickers, but they're thinner. Definitely thinner than the other ones. And they feel very matte. These are all um Valentine's inspired. These are cute. Little tickets. Okay, little things. These are cute. Vintage inspired ephemera. Really cute. Some of it is not. Mm -hmm. Some of them would look cute as little um fabric patches if you photocopy them onto um fabric that's printable. The fabric that is printable comes out very stiff. It's just cute in small little portions, I think, and I make like little patches on it and put it on. Stickers and hold on, guys. I have to put the toy. There you go, Murray. Okay, and this is for that project I got for my friends. It's a diamond painting. I hope they like diamond painting. Okay, what else I have? Okay, goodness, I didn't realize I got that much diamond painting. Okay, but I got it. Oh, I thought this was back order, but this was in the package. I thought this was a back order. And this is a diamond painting. I'm not, I'd rather, I'd rather color. Nothing wrong with diamond painting, but diamond painting is fun. It's very addicting, I know. But, oh boy, do I have a million coloring books. And um, I need to tackle my coloring books before I start. But anyway, this is one of the diamond paintings, which is a blight. And it's small, but I got one for each of my friends and they can take it. But this would be adorable. They can frame it and take this home. This would be a cute little um, Christmas gift for them. 
it's just the right size. We can start it on our trip. It's gonna be like a three day trip in November. Um, but eh, we have so many things and it comes with the little diamonds and the generic little kit kit with the wax and the special pen but this is cute this is really cute really cute i like that but this was in back order i didn't realize okay if it's back order i still got it um i didn't think i thought i was gonna get in this separate shipping so that is a cute diamond painting i would like to start that i might start that okay and i got another let's put this away put it away nicely and this is another one I got from my other friend Lissa and one for Jamie and one for me okay and then I got I did get one more um diamond painting well I got that project too but <laughs> well, it was like I said I thought that that project was way bigger than it is but you know what this is so cute I saw this I grew up in the 80s and I was a big fan of the gremlins so oh how cute is this and it's small it's cute it's just the right size for a beginner that is so cute and that one i would do goodness i don't want to get addicted i have so many coloring books i have to tackle and i have my coloring convention with harry potter theme and stamp anything in florida that's going to be fun do that in October. I'm going to be a very busy person. Okay, and here is a whole bunch of coffee labels that came into this box. Like I said, if you're aching to see this, just leave it in my comments and I will go one by one if you're looking to buy it. But oh my God, these are really cute. You know what, guys? If you take these and you put them on the Dollar Tree cake, um, crates, these will be so cute. We'll make such cute little props for Blythe. With those in the Dollar Tree, you put those wooden crates and you put one of these and that will make such a cute prop. Cute. These are like grocery labels. Those are really cute. You can make some really cute things with that. Definitely some cute, cute props. Okay. I'll fix that in a little bit. What else is in here? These tiny little gummy bears. I don't think I bought these. I'm gonna have to see. But boy, boy, these are like many, 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 many gummy bears. They do look like, I might have to put these like in a bag. These are gonna be lost. These are so tiny. Hold on, guys. So, so, super, super, super tiny. Can't even make little. <laughs> These are tiny. I guess they're Blythe <laughs> size, like she would eat them. They are tiny. I don't think I ordered that. I think I might have gotten that for a gift. I don't know. I have to check. Let's see what else is in the back. That's it. That was all. I'm su presently surprised that that diamond... Okay, so this is what I got for my friends for Blythe. We each share a Blythe. They all have blue hair. When I ordered this, guys, boy, did I think. And look in the picture. Don't get fooled by the picture. Everybody says it. It's the truth. These are tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. But I thought it would be a cute gift for my friends. It's a tiny little book bag. <laughs> These were about eight bucks. Okay, I should have known by the price. But it's cute. I mean, if you want to hold your wallet and just your money, quick run, quick some quick errands. See how she has the blonde hair? I figured maybe we can put the blue diamonds, which I bought way too much because I didn't realize it was so tiny. We could use the blue diamonds instead and they could kind of match the blives that we have. But, I mean, that's a cute little project. And inside is the diamond that I used. Okay. 
and the generic little boat and wax and pen. It's cute. Okay, it's cute. I mean, it's cute. It's a cute little gift for my friends. And on the inside, like I said, it's cute to run your little errands and it's a diamond painting. Like I said, you come up to here and then I should complete mine and do it and see. Um, it's got a little see if it would look ugly because they do have circles if i put blue good experiment blue dark blue but that's what i got each one of us for that and i think she might look cute with blue hair and then maybe we can change her dark blue hair and then here where it says the lighter um colors we can do the lighter blue we'll experiment we'll see all right, well, that's all for my team wall. If you wanted to see those um, stickers more specifically, more clearly, just let me know, and I will definitely um, show you guys more clear. All right, sorry for the long, long video, and I think my friends would like this. It's cute. It's small, but it's adorable. Um, have a good one. Bye-bye.